All right, it's literally the next day. We just woke up and I'm gonna work on this bike. Dad brought this home from work. I'm gonna go ahead and throw this tire on the other rim. And I got some tubes. I'm gonna go ahead and put in both. And it should work out. I'm gonna go ahead and get on the tripod, turn everything on, and get you in a minute. All right, went ahead and put the tire from the Kent Bayside over there. It's on the far back. You can kind of see the handlebars, but I put that tire on here. Already looking a lot better. Uh, I got the brakes adjusted, but I can't adjust them that very very well because I don't have one on a bike yet, and I can't ride it yet. So do more adjusting whenever I get there. But I'm gonna go ahead and take this tire apart. See if I can do it with y'all. There she goes. All that air out. I don't have, I don't have a lot of tires for this bike because it's such a weird size. So that's why, that's why I've been trying to find, that's why I got these tires from my dad's work. More air in there? Yeah. Come on, get out and get out. Okay, you just gotta grab like the lip. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's probably not. A, it's probably not the best tool to grab the lip with. Um. Yeah, I'm going to get this tire off, and I'll get you when I get it off. All right, so y'all won't believe what I did. Uh, I was taking that tire off on the other side, a bike, and the it's sitting on this little steel thing, just as like a stand, kind of. And I dropped, like the bike fell that way, and the motor just came rolling off, fell on the floor, and broke that vent. You can see it. So, yeah, I... Yeah, I don't think it should. It might run without it. I, I doubt it. I'm going to have to be looking for a new vent or breather breather hose or whatever. That sucks. Brand spanking new motor already scratches on it. Oh, well. Um, so I'm going to get ahead and get this tire off. And got these cool inner tubes. Uh, yeah, with the branding on it and everything. Worksman cycles. I mean, that's kind of cool. Yeah. But, I mean, it's just. I don't think it's an old package. Uh -huh. Probably not. Yeah, it's the exact same as the other side. Wait, yeah, it is. There it is. There's the little thing. Alright. I'm going to go ahead and throw this on and I'll get back with you when I get it on the ground. Alright, all I was able to do is get those tires on get them going and kind of bolt down the motor i mean i tried to drill some holes but i missed it pretty badly so i'm gonna widen those holes out and make them a little bit wider so i can have some room to adjust the motor that's all i could do for today i gotta head out to work and i'll continue this in a minute all right it's the next day just woke up again bright early in the morning so yesterday about well, all right, when I got off of work, I went and picked up this throttle cable. And it's for a go-kart, but it's just longer than the bike ones. Um, I picked up that plate, the motor mount plate, because I'm going to put it on right there for, so I can move it, actually. And that is a chain that I got on Amazon. So I can put from the clutch to the sprocket down there. And this chain is for this, like, pedals to the sprocket over there. Because the one that was on there is old as crap, and I don't want to use that. So I'm going to start getting these things on and get with you then. All right, sorry for the guy power washing outside. Uh, so I went ahead, put that plate in. Uh, I got all tightened down and actually I fixed that mesh so now it's 
pretty darn good. If anything, just a little bit far this way, but it's as good as it's gonna get without me drilling new holes. So I have this chain sitting in sitting inside for I don't know how long. It came with this thing, which I don't know what it does. I think it's to pull that master clip, which is really stupid because I could just use a pliers. But yeah, I'm gonna cross my fingers that this chain is long enough. It should be long enough. But I'm gonna go ahead and try to chuck this on. And after that, well, I already kind of did this throttle cable. Kind of just put it in there for now. But I don't know how I'm gonna get this in to go onto the handlebars. That's my concern right now. Because if you know on the motorized bikes, they have this little pin that goes in, that goes into this part. I don't know. I might just end up taking it off of this bike. This bike's becoming a parts bike. I mean, it's pretty bad. The motor doesn't barely barely runs, so I don't know. These two are my main ones, though. Just a little piece of junk. Um, yeah. I just needed a thr longer throttle cable, and I don't know how to lengthen them, so I got that one. And yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and chuck this chain on, and I might be able to try and ride it. I'm, I might. Oh wait, no, I need to put the chain from the axle to that sprocket down there. Then I can ride it. Yeah. I'll see y'all when I get this chain on. Holy cow, boys. All right, uh, chain I bought for this bike didn't fit. Yeah, that sucks, I know. I had one of those oh crap moments, but I went to the parts bike, uh, Bayside over there, stole the drive chain to it, and it fits perfectly it is like made to be on here like not supposed to go on anything else like it is perfect for this thing so good thing that's on i'm gonna go ahead and get the chain from that drive to this drive and see how it goes hopefully it goes good because i got not a lot of room right there but i'll see how it goes all right let me show you what i'm thinking about doing so here i got a clutch cable and here I got a throttle cable. So um, what I'm gonna do, I got the sleeve out of the clutch cable right here, thinking about soldering the two ends so that it's a longer cable and just get the housing for this clutch cable and just kind of cut it up as I need it. So I'm gonna see how that works just because I need like about, I'd say a foot longer. Yeah, about a foot longer and if that works, I'll get with you. If not, then, well, looks like I'm searching for a throttle cable online. But until then, yeah. Actually, real quick. Uh, I got the other chain on. The fitment is close. But that's as far this way as it can go. And it's slightly, it's not touching at all. But, hold on. Let's see if I can get it rolling. The only thing it is touching is this. It's hitting right there, which I need to grind out a little bit and it'd be good, but it's not touching anywhere else. And it should, I don't know how it's gonna be under power, but we're gonna find that out later. But it's ready to ride now. All I need is a throttle cable and then it's ready to go. So, so avid about getting this going. Almost there. I'll get y'all when I get that throttle cable done. All right, let me show y'all what I got. So, throttle cable is in and going around my soldering job to here, up there, into the handle. And it works. Can you believe that? I did something that works. I know, kind of crazy. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna hook up a kill switch because when I'm this is my very first kill switch, my very first old bike, and I cut the wires off of it because I didn't know what it went to. But yeah, I was that stupid back then. Um, yeah, but I got this throttle cable going, it's going good, and all I got to do now is get the chain from the pedals to the sprocket right there, and this thing will be going. I can ride it right now like it is, I just can't pedal if it gets stuck or something, but I'm going to try riding it when I get back. 
I'll just see how it goes. I'll record it and all that and get with y'all whenever it's running. Okay, just woke up again another day. I still have to turn the lights on, but just, I was rolling it last night and I came to realize that the chain is way looser now. Throwing away. I don't know why it got loose, but I, what I want to do is get the, the mount down here and just move it until the chain tightens. And hopefully that'll work. We'll see. And maybe I'll even get to straighten it out a little bit. It's a little to the side. I'll see how it works. But if not, then to re-drill some holes. But see what it comes out to when I get there. All right, I don't know if y'all can see, but I finally got it running. I went ahead and started it just to make sure that the motor was good and I don't have to go ahead and keep pulling it and pulling it. But go ahead and try to get a quick ride in for y'all. So go ahead and go. All right. Woo, this thing's fun. It's not like riding a bike. Oh boy. This is completely different than riding a bike. There's so much power behind it. Go too fast because it's scary. This is about as fast as I'll go. And it's scary looking behind too because you don't know where you're going. It's making noises, that is not good. Still looks good. Basically all I did was tighten that chain. Well, I put some spacers under the motor, like just washers. They raised the motor up a little bit, which tightened the chain. I hope y'all can hear me. I don't know if I thought y'all can. But that pretty much made the chain tight. It doesn't slip anymore. That's the main problem I was running into. I guess those popping noises are still that. Chain hidden the frame or the my makeshift motor mount. Yeah, I guess that's what it is.
Whoa, okay, okay. That was almost fell. Three wheels is different. Oh, that's a voice crack. Brake, brake, brake. Oh, okay. On this like most of my other projects terrible uh, I guess the coaster brake would be easier but okay noises noises I mean, it's a smooth ride, it's not bad. It's just scary because I might tip it over and that's kind of not what I'm trying to do. Maybe one day I'll take this in the off-road trails over there by the neighborhood, but I doubt it. Yeah, it's making noises. Not good noises. Maybe I gotta go tighten that chain up again. Ooh, tight turns, tight turns. Not good noise. Not good noise. Come on, almost there. 
Oh god. Alright, as I'm pulling in, it's gonna be the end of this video. You run well it runs now, so that's a good thing. Nobody's following me. Alright. So like it if you like this project. I'm getting a next project in a minute. I already scheduled to pick it up. And I guess I'll see y'all when I see y'all when I get that thing out in the garage and running.